Leah and welcome back for another tasty treat. On today's episode of Leah Tortilla, I will be teaching you how to make the most delicious key lime pie. This recipe is so super easy, I honestly don't know why I've not done it before. To begin, you're going to need 300 grams of plain digestive biscuits. Grab yourself a rolling pin, or even easier, if you have a food processor, we're gonna blitz these up into really fine breadcrumbs. But I don't have a food processor, so I'm gonna do it the old fashioned way and just smash my digestives until they resemble a fine crumb. This may take a while. Okay, so after about five minutes of constant pounding, I have finally reached that consistency of a fine biscuit crumb. And over here, I have 150 grams of unsalted butter that I have just gently melted on the hob. And I'm going to pour the melted butter, unsalted, into my biscuit crumb. And then, put that back over there for now. I don't need it anymore. We're going to grab a wooden spoon and we're going to stir it in and make sure the butter and the biscuit is well combined. So once your digestive biscuit crumb is well coated in that melted unsalted butter, just gonna make sure we get it off the spoon. We don't want any waste, we want it all. We're going to grab ourselves a bottomless, well, a removable bottom cheesecake tin or cake tin. They're the same thing, doesn't matter. And we're going to pour our biscuit crumb into the bottom, um, completely covering the base of our tin. So once you've emptied your biscuit crumb into the bottom of your tin, you're just going to shake it gently so that it covers the base evenly. And then we're just going to press it down very gently just to make sure it all sticks together. So it's all like, and makes a firm base. Just press it down. You're gonna get buttery fingers. So it shouldn't move anymore. It should be stuck down and firm. And once you're happy with your key lime pie biscuit base, there's no setting it in the fridge. You're gonna preheat your oven to 160 degrees and then you're gonna pop this in there to bake for 15 minutes. While you're waiting for your key lime pie base to bake in the oven, we're going to grab six, I don't know if you can see this because I don't want to spill them on the floor. Um, we've got six individual egg yolks, medium egg yolks in this bowl. And here in my hand, I have an electric whisk, electric beater. And we're going to whisk these for one minute until they're nice and smooth. Uh, I probably should have done this with some protection. <laughs> Much better. 15 minutes has been and gone and I have removed my key lime pie base out of the oven. You can see it's really hot, so I'm just going to place it over here and allow it to cool down. And while I do that, I'm going to zest and juice eight individual limes. So after you've zested and juiced eight individual limes, we're just gonna put that to the side and we're gonna go back over here to our whisked egg yolk and we're going to add two tins of condensed milk at 397 grams per can. So we add the condensed milk, one can, two cans, 
and we're going to whisk this mixture for a further three minutes. Although I felt as if my electric whisk was making far too much mess, so I switched to a hand whisk and I've whisked for six minutes now rather than three. Then when you whisk this for either three minutes with the electric whisk or six minutes with the hand whisk, you're going to slowly add in your lime juice and zest. And then again, you're going to either whisk it for a further three minutes if you're still using your electric whisk or a further six minutes if you're using your hand whisk. Oh, I'm out of breath. It's hard work, this whisking business. You want to make sure it's all really fully combined as always. Nice and thick, smooth and delicious. Whew. Once your wrist is absolutely knackered out from all of that hand whisking, if you used a hand whisk like I did, then we're going to grab our cooled base and our filling and we're just going to gently Pour this in there. Make sure you get all of it. Scraper. Just fill it right up. Like I always say, you don't want any wastage. Then we're just going to give it a little shake to make sure that it's all completely spread even in our tin. Nice and flat. And then this is ready to go in the oven for 15 minutes at 160 degrees. When I said that this takes 15 minutes at 180 degrees in the oven, I wasn't necessarily lying, it does. But I doubled my recipe that I had to begin with, so I actually needed to double the amount of cooking time on that. So the mix actually takes 30 minutes to cook in the oven at 160 degrees. You can see that it has risen perfectly. It's a gorgeous golden brown colour on top and it's got a slight wobble to it. And the smell of lime coming off of it is just phenomenal. Anyway, so for now we're just going to put this to the side and allow it to cool down enough so that it can go in the fridge. And when it goes in the fridge we're going to leave it in there for three hours to set and cool down completely. So in three hours time, I'm gonna come back to my key lime pie and I'm going to decorate it with whipped Chantilly cream. And that's basically just double cream that's been whipped with a bit of vanilla and icing sugar. And I've got a piping bag and some nozzles. So I'm gonna portion it and make it look really pretty. So we'll come back to it in three hours time and I'll show you the finished product. And there you have it. There's my recipe for the most easy and perfect key lime pie. It's jam packed with flavor. It's so zesty, it's sweet, it's sticky, and it's really light. Perfect for those summer evenings. I hope you've enjoyed this episode of Leah Tortilla. I will see you next week for another episode. And don't forget to give this video a like, give this video a share, Leave me a comment because as always, I love to hear what you have to say. And if you really like what I do, then subscribe to my channel for some more tasty treats. See you next week. Bye guys.